talking to Alex Olson from Auto Weed. He's down here at Gundawindi uh, inspecting some trials. He's done using his system of green on green spraying to control Horicea in pasture. How's it going, Alex? Yeah, good thanks, Bill. Uh, the, the trials have gone well. So we installed this system in June of 2020 and it's now December and we're just sort of having a look at the results of the, the trials and, um, and the work willaroo has been doing using the vehicle as well on other areas. So yeah, this has been like the first sort of real trial where we've installed the unit going back to Townsville and now we're gonna have a look at how it's operating. Um, so it's a four unit system covering a three meter boom to target cactus. And we use high volume um, T-Jet turbo flood jet nozzles to put out about over a thousand liter per hectare for cactus control. So we did a couple of different trials. We compared a high volume boom spray with a low volume boom spray. So we lowered these down to about 800 liter per hectare versus hand spraying, which is you know more time consuming, really coating the cactus with a hand spray. And the results have been good. If you, if you look at the, uh, the low volume and high volume, the high volume is definitely getting better control. Um, and the control between hand spraying and high volume and boom spray is relatively similar. Like well, the, the growers here are pretty happy with the control of the cactus. But um, there's no doubt that hand spray, you can get more chemical in and you can get more angles of penetration. So you see like maybe 96% control as opposed to about, uh, sorry, 98% control of hand spray as opposed to about 95% with boom spray. Yeah. Okay, you've had a few technical difficulties, I guess, as you do with any new technology. What sort of things have gone wrong? Yeah, so it's brand new technology. This is the first sort of install of this model of our green on green auto weed weed sprout. We found that um, some condensation was occurring inside of the units because they weren't perfectly sealed, the outer housings. So what would happen is, this seal wasn't perfectly made, when you went to wash down the units, a little bit of moisture would seep in. And the next time you turn those units on, the internal temperature of that housing increases and condensation occurs of the fog, causing uh, fog of the lens. And so if the detector is looking for cactus features, all of a sudden it's blurred and it's fog, it's not gonna actually detect anything. So that was one of the major issues and we're fixing that by putting some moisture absorbers in and sealing the outer unit. The other error was uh, just associated with temperature. By putting these shades on, you reduce the internal temperature inside the housing by 20, uh, 15 to 20 degrees Celsius. So we want to keep that temperature low. And, and that was one of the other things that we found. So we're going to be rolling out with these things that we've learned, the next iteration of our prototype. Um, and it's exciting. We're going to be doing that for sugarcane. So a 20 meter sugarcane system with uh, our new auto weed units will be coming uh, early next year. Okay. And you've also uh, dealing now with Horicea cactus, which is flowering because of the end of the drought, whereas in the past you've been dealing with some pretty sick looking Horicea cactus. How well is the system kind of detecting the different, uh, I guess, different types of Horicea cactus? Yeah. That's a major point. Yeah, when we collected the data in June, the cactus was, it was very dry. And so the cactus was kind of like dying off almost. It was quite purple. Um, and that's what this is trained on. But just today, while we've been here, we've actually tried it on some of the, you know, lush sort of growing cactus, which is more green, it's flowering, and it's got a green background. And we were picking it up quite good, um, but uh, we're going to do some more detailed work. So I'm going to collect a new data set on this green stuff, and uh, we'll be able to train a new model and see how it compares, see if the uh, older model from June works well in December, or is it a case where the farmer will have to select which model looks like will be most effective based on the health of the cactus at that time of spraying. Okay, but overall things are going pretty well. Yeah, it's very encouraging. It's very encouraging to have um, sort of our first sort of early adoption trial on, on cactus. Um, we're also doing work up north and uh, we're learning as we're going and uh, we're hoping to have something that's, you know, ready for the commercial market towards the end of next year. But uh, we'll see how things go. Okay, thanks very much. Okay, I'm talking to uh, Matt West, he's the farm manager here at Willaroo. He's been using the auto weed system to uh, spray Horicea cactus in his pastures here. What do you think of it so far, Matt? Um, yeah, so we've, uh, what do we think of it? I think it's a great idea. Uh, it saved us a fair bit of time and uh, effort. So I've got, I'm pretty happy with the control it's had um, and, the, and the blokes that are using it actually will get on and drive it. Yeah, they, it's pretty intense getting out there hand spraying, so yeah, finding it a, a pretty efficient. 
So it's easier to get labour to drive a side by side round than it is to get someone to drag a hose through the yeah, bush, definitely. basically. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So they're just, you know, sitting on a machine going back and forwards and instead of walking through the cactus. Uh, so yeah, finding it easy to find labour to drive it, it's definitely. And you're happy with the um, kill rate? It's not missing too many as far as you're concerned? Um, no, not finding that at all. Um, we've had, you know, obviously with technology you find uh, glitches initially, but I'm pretty happy with the accuracy. Um, I, I honestly think it's probably a bit more accurate than the man walking around with a hose. Um, if you're, we try, try and grid, the, grid what we can so we, we cover it. I, the cameras are definitely not missing weeds. It's probably more to the uh, speed of the operator uh, where the misses come in. So. Yeah, if you, if you keep that accurate sort of four to five k speed and you'll get good control, so. And, and so that's more issues about getting enough water on, getting good coverage of the plant rather than the actual technology of detecting yeah. the plants. Yeah, definitely. Yep. It's not the actual detection as the issue, it's getting the coverage out of the nozzle. So obviously with hand spraying, you're actually coating that cactus. Um, with the nozzle, you've got that one chance to you know, hit it and cover it so that, you know, we've. We've adapted, we've gone a bit higher rate, so a bit higher concentrated droplets. Um, found that that's worked a lot better than our initial rates we were using. So we've done a little bit of work with different nozzle types, um, different rates, and we've actually gone back to the original nozzles that Alex brought out, uh, those higher rate nozzles, and, had, and changed the actual uh, chemical rates, and it seems to be doing a better job. So just making sure that every droplet that hits it is concentrated. So. Yeah. Okay, and, and now the cropping season's over, you're hoping to get into a bit more control of your harissia, is that the plan this yeah. summer? Yeah, so that is the plan, and we've had a bit of rain here too, so the last past couple of years, the summers have been really dry, uh, cactus has been absolutely stressed to the max, so it kills, hasn't, again, you know, we can't afford to be spraying it, it's not going to kill it, so we'll get out now, we've had a bit of rain, everything's fresh, um, and I think we'll get some good control, so the camera will actually be working in some more greener areas now where prior the cactus is probably the actual green thing in the background so now that we've got some green grass so it'll be interesting to see test these cameras out now with a actual green background so yeah looking forward to it okay all right thanks for that